So in this section, we are going to learn about how to procure services. We have seen how to procure stock materials. We have seen how to procure non-stock materials. And this is a third variant, how to procure services. Just like the way we procure coffee beans, stirrers, flour, or any kinds of physical goods, we can procure services as well. Would you have a physical goods receipt happening? Of course not. We'll see some examples of services in the next slide. So the process to procure services, as we have discussed, is a little bit different. But what are services? Let's see some examples of services. Just by looking at these examples, you might have guessed what services are. This here is an example of electrical service. This is an example of heating and air conditioning service. This is an example of plumbing service. Your lights stop working, you call your electrician. Your AC machine stops working, you call your HVAC engineer. Your roof is leaking, you call your plumber. These are all examples of services. Now, let's see how services are procured and how they are really different from physical goods. Now, just because services are not tangible, you might be tempted to create a service material of type NLAG or non-stock because you're not going to stock non-stock materials right stirrers so why don't we create services using non-stock materials when i was learning mm that was my first impression why don't i use nlag why are we treating services differently but let's see if it works what we are going to do is create non-lag material called electric services and since they are non-stock we're not going to store or stock those services, which is quite intuitive. So let's create that material. All right, so we go to MM01 and say electric service, and we call it 01, 02, whatever. And if we want to say retail, and for material type, we're going to use NLAG. Click OK. And as usual, we want to select the basic view, purchasing view, and accounting view. Remember, these are the three main views that we use in purchasing. And for plant, of course, we use Chicago. Enter. And we say electric service. basic unit of measure is typically not each but we do hour meaning what is the cost per hour so the basic unit of measure is hours now for material groups just use 015 that's not the right material group but just let's just roll with it hit enter go to purchasing view and everything seems okay and hit enter again and in the accounting view for NLAG materials it picks up some valuation class that's fine we don't care click save now for standard price control it's asking me to enter a price say i'm gonna say enter one elec serve dash zero one that's the material that we have created go back and let's create a po me21n so what are we doing here? We are raising a PO for electric service. Save the same vendor. 4001. Enter. And for material, we use elec sir 01 and a quantity of one say. 
Now, this is a non-stock material, right? So it's asking us to use some kind of an account assignment because it's consumed, it's not going to stock. And what do we do in this case? Simple. We go to the account assignment and enter the department that's going to eat this cost. So we're going to say a cost center of K in the account assignment. Enter a cost center, say admin and go to conditions and enter a price, say $20 per hour. Right? There's a warning, just ignore that, hit enter. We have created an electric service for $20 an hour against the admin cost center. Right? Now you can go and click save. So there's our purchase order number. Double click that. Select the PO and click Control C to copy the purchase order number. Well, now that we have created the purchase order, let's go and do a goods receipt. Right? That's the next step typically for non-stock materials or stock materials. As we are going to see, this is where we are going to face issues. We'll see how. So what's the transaction for goods receipt? MIGAO. M-I-G-O. And click OK. Paste your purchase order number in here. Control V. Hit enter. OK. So the quantity here is 1. So you can go to the quantity field and here is where the problem comes up. The way services are procured is different from the way physical goods are procured. If you ask me why, let me give you an example. So we have created this purchase order all right and during goods receipt, I'm going to tell you the problem that we are going to see. Say for example, your pump is broken, the electric pump or the HVAC pump is broken. So you have called your electrician and there are a couple of steps that happen in service. The first step is the electrician comes in and identifies the problem. Is it an issue with the pump? Is it an issue with the heat exchange? Whatever, whatever. And that's going to cost $20 an hour. And say he, he takes one or two hours to identify the problem. So this is one hour. Once he identifies the problem, the second step is to identify the spare parts. So he's going to need uh, a replacement for the pump or he's going to need some welding for the heat exchanger. right? So he's going to identify the problem. Say that's free of cost, it's not chargeable. And the third step is to procure the spare parts. right? So he has to go to the shop and get the spare parts. Let's say that's also not chargeable. But remember, these are all the steps that have to be done to really perform that service. The fourth step is to replace the parts and fix the problem. Now let's say replacing the parts and fixing the problem is an advanced electrical service. So it's not basic electric service, it's advanced electric service. Meaning it's chargeable at a different rate. Say it's chargeable at $30 per hour and he takes one hour for fixing the problem. And finally, the pump is all set and the pump needs to be cleaned. So there's a manual labor that's involved and the rate for that is $10 per hour. And say it takes one hour to clean the pump. So there are five activities that are done. And the key to understand this is simple. You cannot expect what service is being needed at the time of creating the PO. All you know at the time of creating the PO is that the AC machine is broken. That's it. 
you wouldn't know the spare parts that are required you wouldn't know that fixing this is going to take so much of time and you wouldn't know that there's a cleaning service that is required this is where services are different so at the time of goods receipt you have to enter so many different parts right you have to enter a, a basic electric service for one hour you have to enter an advanced electrical service for one hour you have to enter a cleaning service for one hour can you do that can you really add more materials during goods receipt let's try that now can you change the quantity here say from 1 to 2 hours it might you don't know how many hours it's going to take right can you change the quantity here to 2 yeah you can change the quantity all right and can you add more materials here like put another material here can you do that so there is no way you can add an additional material here well there is one way but the way that's done is a little convoluted you know it doesn't really help us to solve this problem with services so how do we solve this problem this problem is solved with the use of a different material altogether it's not the standard material for n lag or raw material or finished goods that we create here we use something called as a service master and how do we create them let's see them in the next chapter